Hey everyone, today I have a can of corn that was packaged back in 1943. This can has a lot of pressure inside. Both ends of the can are very bulged. You shake it up, it's still liquidy inside. It's under extreme pressure. You can't push in anywhere on this can. So I'm gonna release the pressure very slowly when I open this thing up. I'm very curious to see what it looks like inside after 75 years. It says in multiple places, corn, where it's been stamped. It's been stamped a whole bunch of times to say corn. You see along the edge, back then they use solder containing lead. So if it's still clear, the juice, I can do a lead test. Okay, we're gonna open up this can of corn now. Okay, I got some safety glasses on because you don't want to get this juice in your eyes or anything because this is some toxic stuff. This is unplugged. I just want to pop it before I open this thing up. There's a lot of pressure in there. I think it's got to be turning actually to pierce it. Wow, what is this can made of? It doesn't want to go through it. Wow. Can't open them, won't go through it. I try the other side. That was huge. Mmm. It doesn't smell bad, actually. I could take the mask off. I thought that was gonna spray across the room. It just released a lot of air. Just a lot of air. Actually, the whole room now smells fruity, like the corn is fermenting in there. It doesn't smell bad at all. It actually smells awesome. Let's complete this. <laughs> See how much trouble the can opener's having? <clears throat> Actually smells good. Well, that's cream corn. I thought it was gonna be actual whole pieces of corn. I don't think I can do a lead test on this because I don't think it's clear enough. Yeah, you see how it's like avoiding it? It's possible. I, I think it'll work. Got to get the debris off it, but I got them all wet. Yeah, it's going to work. I can see them changing colors. Just to make sure that this is going to happen totally accurately, I'm going to do another test strip too. Just in case. That one wasn't in there long enough. Let it sit for a few seconds, get some of that. Knock off the extra debris, give this a minute to develop, and I think that will give us a good result. Okay, both strips are reading the same thing, so this will be accurate. Starting from the top, the total hardness of the liquid is about 120. There's no chlorine. The iron content is off the scale. Our scale here only goes to about 500 and that is way off the scale for parts per million. Copper is zero. Lead is again off the scale. Lead it, it's showing a brown color. 
and that would be kind of up here somewhere. There's a lot of lead in this. There's no nitrate or nitrate. The total alkalinity is around 80 parts per million, and the pH in here is around 8.5. stuff is so thick it, it, you can't pick it up with a dropper maybe on the edge yeah I can get some from the edge I want to put a drop of that onto a slide Now that I've cleaned the can out, you can see inside how the bottom is like peeling this nasty slime. Now the inside of the can smells like the ocean at low tide when you have a bunch of things rotting and dying. You see all the corrosion around the side. It looks like the corrosion you'd get on copper, but there was no copper in the test. There was a lot of lead, so that makes me think this is a real tin can. That would explain it, and that would also explain the shininess, because tin doesn't rust. But there was a lot of iron in this also. And the top of this lid is like when I opened 1980s canned corn. The same result, but a lot worse. Like it's like scraping pond scum off a rock. This stuff does scrape off. Okay, right now I'm looking at that smear I took with the Q-tip under 80 times. I can definitely see a lot of plant cells in there from the corn. But really no life. I found some things that I think are bacteria, but really no life. Okay, this is from that big drop of actual cream corn I put onto the slide. It's just about the same stuff I had from the smear. 
just about the same stuff I had from the smear. Seeing pretty much the same stuff. This is the simple smear with the Q-tip. Moving up to 250 times. You can definitely see a lot of the corn. That would be the plant cells you're seeing all over the place. Those big round things are just air bubbles caught under the slide. Now I wonder what those things are. Those aren't air bubbles. This is 1,000 times. You can see stuff a lot better now that we're looking at it like this.